Computation variables. Computation variables allow you to write scripts that can be called whenever you need them. They can help you save time and space as you automate your forms. Computation variables can work in the same way as if statements. You will use them in HPT templates as you would use if statements in RTFs in many instances. Exercise 6. Create a computation variable to combine a petitioner's first, middle, and last names. Create a new variable field by drawing a field over the space on the form for petitioner's name. Double click and choose computation. Name the variable petitioner name fold CO. Click the edit component button and create three new text variables by clicking the New Component button next to Components. Petitioner name first TE. Petitioner name middle TE. And petitioner name last TE. Under Instruction Models, find the if expression and drag it onto the script window. You could also just type out if. Under Expression Models, find the answer function and drag it onto the red expression text. You could also just type this out as well. Drag petitioner name middle te onto the red variable text or just type it in. This will test to see if petitioner name middle TE is answered. If you do not do this and just use the computation variable to combine the first, middle, and last names, it would return a null value when the middle name variable is not answered. Now we're going to construct a script that will combine the first, middle, and last names if the middle name is answered, or just the first and last names if it isn't. Your script should look like mine here. Save and click OK. Test Assemble and Preview. You might notice that Petitioner Name Middle TE is missing. This is because we're using a generated default interview and Petitioner Name Middle TE is not necessary for completing the form. Don't worry though, when you import your variables from A to J Author, it will be filled out correctly using a master component file. If you have more than one template in your project, you should set up a master component file with the main form, which holds all the variables used in your project, and link all the ancillary templates to that component file. Exercise 7. Set up a master component file. Close all the templates you have open. Make sure to save your work. In the library screen, create a new library if you've not yet done so. Add the two templates in the exercise folder to your project. Select addendum.hpt and click the component manager button. Click the component field properties button. At the general tab, click the shared component file drop down menu. Select Advanced Training Template.cmp and click OK. 
Now every variable that you create when working in the advanced training template will be accessible when working in the addendum template. Sometimes you may want to allow the user to attach an addendum if there isn't enough room on part of the form. Poddocs can handle this using insert fields and the linked text expression. Once you decide how many characters fit neatly into the response area, you can set up an if statement that moves the response to an additional page if it goes over the character count. Exercise 8. Attach an addendum to an HPT template project. Draw four new fields on the lines under petitioner fields that his record should be expunged because. Align the fields and group them. Create a new text variable in the fields called Petitioner Justification TE. Create a new field at the bottom of the page. Click the Field Properties button. Under Field Type, select Control. Check Non-Printing Field. Close the Field Properties window, and at the top of the toolbar, select Field and Insert. Select the addendum.hpt file. Click OK. Click the field and get to the Field Properties window again. You can set up a condition here for inserting the addendum. Hit the If Field button and select If Expression and drag Petitioner Justification TE over the red text. Enter greater than 300 to display the addendum when the text of the variable runs over 300 characters. Click OK. Now, whenever the response in this field exceeds 300 characters in length, HotDocs will attach an addendum but there's still a lot we have to do to make sure this works properly. First, we need to indicate to the judge that the answer can be found in the addendum. Draw a new field on top of the four grouped fields right click and select field properties. Under field type Select Control. Check Non-Printing Field. Create a new text variable called CAddendumTE. Click the Variable Field button and click OK. Then click the Edit Component button. Under the Advanced tab, enter CAddendum under unanswered text. Click the If Field button, click If Expression, drag the answered variable expression onto the script, select Petitioner Justification TE, type AND, Select the length expression, drag Petitioner Justification TE onto the red text, and type greater than 300. This will display the C addendum text if the variable runs over 300 characters and is moved to the addendum. It's important to include the condition that the variable be answered, otherwise it will break the if statement. We also need to set up an if statement on the four grouped fields. Click the fields and click the field properties button. Click the if field button and construct the following if statement.
This hides the variable text if it is being pushed to the addendum. Now we need to add the variable to the addendum. If you haven't already done so, open the addendum in the Hotdocs PDF Automator. Draw fields over the lines under Reason for Expunging Petitioner's Record. You could also just copy and paste. Align the fields and group them. Enter Petitioner Justification, TE, as the variable for these fields. Under Field Properties, construct the following if statement. This will display the variable if it runs over 300 characters. Go back to the advanced training template and test assemble. Enter more than 300 characters. and you should see that the addendum is inserted. Less than 300, and the variable should appear in the main form.